Oh, well, this is some exciting news because just over a week ago, NASA's spacecraft left a 4.5 billion year old asteroid named Bennu. It had been probing in space to return back to Earth with a sample of rock. Science engagement astronomer from the observatory, Dr. Daniel Kanema, joins us today to tell us a little bit more about this exciting news. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning. How's it going your side? Yeah, all right. I'm out in Gotham Baba, East Cape, actually, at the moment. <laughs> You know what, this is always so exciting. I can just imagine in your world how much more of the excitement there is for NASA's first asteroid sampling mission. Now tell us a little bit more about this mission and its objectives. Yeah, so basically they're visiting this very old asteroid, as you mentioned, uh, and they've sent a spacecraft to it, which has been orbiting it for a couple of years now, uh, taking photos and just sort of understanding more about it. And then late last year, they sent a little probe down onto the asteroid, which did like a pogo stick maneuver, bounced off the surface, and in doing that, collected a whole lot of rock and dust from the surface of the asteroid, which now they are going to bring home, uh, and that'll arrive home in 2023, and then we'll have a sample of an asteroid. That is exciting and also scary at the same time. Why did they decide to choose Bennu as the asteroid for samples? So when you're sampling an asteroid, and, and the reason these asteroids are so interesting is that it has been sort of untouched. It hasn't had any erosion or evolution in the last four and a half billion years. Uh, when we look at Earth, there's a lot going on. There's, you know, uh, continental drift and volcanoes and earthquakes and there's a sort of constant change of the material that's getting recycled and changed. Uh, whereas on this asteroid, it's pristine. So this is the, the rock that existed four and a half billion years ago. And by looking at it, we can see what the rock in the, in the solar system was like, and hopefully find some evidence of things like amino acids and other sort of simple molecules, which are the building blocks for life. Uh, and if they can be formed in space, then that, that gives us a good hint as to where life can come from and where life can fall. I can just imagine how excited the science world must be. <laughs> and I mean, the year 2023, it sounds so far away, but it literally is around the corner. Now, what happens when the space rock returns to Earth in September 2023, as it's predicted? What then? What research will be done that can potentially help us? And are they going to be using all of the rock that they've collected? Yeah, I think they'll use every bit. I mean, I think it'll be, it's, it's a, an incredibly valuable sample. The first thing, you know, it has to get through the Earth's atmosphere without burning up and, you know, reach, reach the surface intact. Once that is done, then we'll be very, very careful, obviously, not to contaminate it with, with any, any material from Earth. And then I think every, every speck of dust will be analyzed in detail and, and looking at the compounds, looking at what the rock is made of, uh, looking for things like amino acids, which are the building blocks for DNA, uh, and, and seeing sort of what material is in this rock. So that'll be the primary, the primary goal for, for the sample. Now, I remember reading in the news just last week that the Osiris Rex is just one of several sample return missions that have been launched in recent years. How so? Yeah, so uh, obviously NASA is not the only uh, space exploration company doing these sorts of things. Uh, the Japanese actually successfully uh, landed a sample last year, uh, and that's being analyzed at the moment. So they visited a different asteroid with different properties, because all of these asteroids, as you can imagine, have had different histories, uh, and, and they can learn something different from that. So it's a very interesting field of science, and it's, it's uh, you know, the, this planetary evolution. So it won't be the last time. It definitely won't be the last. And of course, it won't be the last time we chat to you, Dr. Daniel Kanema. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. That's a pleasure always. Well, I can just picture Buzz Lightyear saying to infinity and beyond to Bennu and back. Now, a spacecraft for the first time bringing an asteroid rubble as old as 4.5 billion years back to Earth. And that's always thanks to our space updates from Dr. Daniel Kanema. And it's going to be very exciting when that asteroid arrives back on Earth in September 2023. So a lot of exciting things still to come and on your show. So don't go anywhere.